Welcome to the Astana Times YouTube channel. Here's a recap of this week in Kazakhstan. I'm Aida Haidar, and let's jump right into this week's headlines. Kazakhstan has seen significant political changes with the appointment of a new prime minister and reshuffling of crucial government positions this week. President Kasim Jamar Takayev signed a decree on February 6, appointing Ozhaz Biktenov, now ex-chief of staff of President Takayev, as the new prime minister. Biktenov replaced Alihan Smailov, who had been at the helm of the government since 2022. A 43-year-old Biktenov is a law alumnus of the Kazakh State Law Academy. Since 2005, he held various pivotal roles within the offices of both the Prime Minister and the Executive Office of the President, with a notable tenure as the head of the department within the Central Office of the Agency of Kazakhstan for Combating Economic and Corruption Crime. Biktenov significantly contributed to Kazakhstan accession to the Group of States Against Corruption of the Council of Europe on January 1, 2020. Following the tragic events of January 2022, he rose to the position of chairman of the agency, maintaining his steadfast commitment to combating corruption. During his speech at the plenary meeting of the Majlis, President Tokayev emphasized the need for bold decisions to facilitate economic diversification. In his words, Tokayev stated, The country needs bold, firm decisions to facilitate economic diversification for the benefit of our people. In his turn, Biktenov outlined his government priorities, which included giving a new economic impetus and focusing on industry, oil sectors and domestic production. Meanwhile, Ibek Dadibayev was appointed as the new head of the president's executive office, succeeding Biktenov. As for the cabinet of ministers, most of the ministers have been reinstated in their positions, while others have been replaced in critical roles affecting finance, healthcare, emergency situations and the economy. Madita Ki, 45, succeeding Yerulan Jamaubayev, is the new Minister of Finance. Akmaral Alnazarova, 52, has been appointed as the new Minister of Healthcare, succeeding Ajar Giniat. Alnazarova previously served as the Deputy of the Senate. A 40-year-old Shunghaz Sarinov now assumes the Minister of Emergency Situations role, succeeding Sarum Sharipkhanov. Meanwhile, Nurlan Baybazarov, 48, has been named the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Economy, replacing Alibek Kwantyrov. Baybazarov previously held the position of Chair of the Baytarek National Holding Company. These changes come amidst efforts to streamline government operations and address the nation's key challenges. President Tokayev outlined a comprehensive 10-point plan for Kazakhstan's development at the expanded government meeting. He stressed the importance of increasing the country's economy to $450 billion by 2029, with an annual GDP growth rate of at least 6%. Tokayev highlighted vital areas such as budget and tax policies, investments, public procurement reform and industrial development. He emphasized the need for systematic measures to liberalize the economy and boost industrial growth. In his address, Tokayev stated one cannot be concerned that the share of investment in fixed capital in the country's GDP is declining. In other words, the economy is not investing enough money to maintain growth rates in the coming years. The president urged the government to prioritize infrastructure projects and attract external and internal investments. The fifth World Nomad game set to kick off in Astana on September 8 this year promises an exhilarating showcase of traditional sports and cultural heritage. According to Games Press Service, spectators can expect a dynamic lineup of 20 traditional competitive sports. From the heart-pounding action of horse races to the ancient art of archery, this game celebrates the spirit of nomadic cultures. Among the highlights are Sikatu, Ordo, Arkhan Tartas and Baige, offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Central Asian traditions. And let's not forget the adrenaline-pumping contests of Kokkbar and Audras Pak, where competitors test their strength and skill on horseback. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Kazakh Shakuris and Kyrgyz Alush are just a few of the grippling wrestling competitions set to captivate audiences. Plus, for those with a strategic mind, games like Tohus Kumalak and Mangala will offer intellectual challenges steeped in history and tradition, and with 110 sets of medals up for grabs, the stakes have never been higher. But that's not all. Organizers have announced plans for 10 demonstration sports competitions, adding even more excitement to the festivities. 
To kick off the celebrations, the opening of the Ethna Village will take place the day before the grand opening ceremony, offering visitors a chance to immerse themselves in the vibrant culture of the nomadic world. So mark your calendars, folks, because the fifth World Nomad Games will be an event you won't want to miss. Finally, President Tokayev presented French President Emmanuel Macron with two national Tazu dog breed puppies as a gesture of friendship. Macron named the puppies Jules and Jean. This follows Macron's visit to Kazakhstan last November, where he admired Kazakh culture, particularly the Tazi dogs. The puppies nicknamed Jules and Jean now residing in Paris, add to the presidential couple's household, joining their black Labrador, Nima. That wraps up our weekly overview of the news. Join us next week for more updates.